We've got a project today. Jerison is driving the RK25 named Rex, and he's got the backhoe on. Dad has a project. After all these years, he's going to connect water to the barn, I think. Let's go to the barn now. That's this end. Okay. I don't know if we're going to get this all done today or not. Okay. How far down are we going? Just where your line is? That right there is not four foot. I'm not sure that's 36. Huh? Well, it's probably... Okay. So this is the, the machine that's working today? Yeah. Okay. Let's just walk. Oh, you got a little frog living in your ditch. You got frogs living in yeah, your ditch. So they're gonna get buried as mud. <laughs> well, just as long as the pipe survives. We can. I'm, I don't know what to do. I really don't. What happened to this section? That's not very deep. Well, huh, not anymore. Um, the, when we brought the two together, we got the trencher hung up because it fell in the hole. Well, you can't. That, <laughs> that long snout will not take any bend. Yeah. So you're going to get it hung up. Well, once we got it out... Do you have to use Adam's tractor to pull it out? Huh? Do you have to use Adam's tractor to pull it out? No, no, no. We, uh, we dug, he dug, he dug it. That guy could have lifted it out with mine. But, uh, okay. What's going okay, on anyway. in here? Nah. Bah. I don't know. Bah. Whether I want the hybrid inside there or the hybrid out here. Hey, it's not hot in here today. It's never too hot. They're all sheep rollers in there because it's not that hot. Okay, what's that now? Now, I don't know whether I want the hydrant here or the hydrant on the outside. I would put it on the outside. That's what I think. And my, my thinking is, is if you want to water the garden, you could. If you want to water the chickens, you don't have to open up the barn door. But I'm thinking now, after today, I don't know whether we pull this up by hand or not. We might be able to. Uh, Why do we want to pull just, it up by hand? Well, get it and put the hydrant. I'm thinking about putting the hydrant here. Okay. Then I can, that's straight in line. Okay. Then I can put a hose, you know, water the sheep here. Yep. Or water them inside when the hydrant's here yeah. on the outside. What do you think? Most everything. Our, we had one on the outside at home. Do you have power lines running at all? Oh, that's right. There's a power line. Say, so where's your, your where's your line running? Oh. Because I really do not want to hook shit the power line with the backhoe. Did did you not? Right there. How does it get to here? It comes right down through here, I think. But it's not very deep. So we could pull it up. Like like it's a shovel full deep? Yeah. Yeah. What about coming to the barn from the house? Like, like this strength? Yeah. No, no, no. The, the electric. How deep is that? It's all just a shovel full deep. Oh, the whole thing is? Yeah. So, so if we, if we just clean this out, lay that tile in there we can just put that on the outside here you see what i mean but i don't we don't want to hit that hose now will you tell us where to start digging well if i was doing it i'd bury this right the first thing and we well, throw the dirt back in it does your does your tractor you want to bury the line right now right no i would put that in first i'd get the dug out See, that's, that's not dug 
it's filled up. This is down. Dig this out? Yeah, here, dig here. that out. And then put it down. And we'll put it down four feet. Okay. Throw the dirt in. Okay, where do you want us to put the dirt? Let's bring the tractor and do this first. Yeah, that's what I think. And we got it out done. Then I can... Now, you want me to get my tractor? I can shovel it in. We don't ever need to. I don't... That's... That's easy no matter what. Yeah. Um, the backhoe works. I don't think it's going to be that difficult. I think the best thing we can probably do is come up to here and kind of straddle. Straddle? I think that'll be all right. The, the dig which way? Dig, so dump. You don't hit dig, the dump. Dump it on this side. Okay, that's fine. Dump it on that side. We picked the corn this morning. Put it up. Oh, good. You got some then? Huh? You got it quite a bit? Oh, I think we put up to probably 20, 25 quarts. We got enough for us because we have 18 left. Where do you want to start digging then? Right here? Work our way? Jerison? Okay. Yeah. Okay, we can start digging right here, and let's we can get started. Whoa! Yeah, wasn't me. Okay, so what if we? You say the corn's done. Corn's done. Hey, Jerison, why don't you bring it over on this side? Well, that way we don't have to put the wheel over on this side. The corn's done. Huh? Corn's done. Corn's done. Just drop, just drive over. Like, drive right here. Drive right through here. Then if we can get, we can put our things down over here and dig. It may be an experiment. We See, we got dirt on both sides here. But with the bucket... We can move it. Yeah, you definitely. Uh, I don't have a. Uh, it's not that hole. Uh, it's supposed to be down there four feet. I figured we'd get the water out. Now, where that one point is, where my. Uh, that line over there, that. After digging that all up, Dad decided to change his mind and go straight instead of make that bend right there in the dirt. We fill up all the dirt that was pulled out and uh, put in the dirt that was dug from the trencher the other day. And then we drive over it to make sure it's all compacted and then we start digging again and gonna go straight. Now we're in position to start digging where we need to, and the tractor actually does a really good job. I, I don't think I could ask it to dig better. It, uh, it can really scoop a lot out. So now we go straight, and uh, it only takes just a little bit of time here. My battery actually died, so you don't get to see it all, but that's okay.
finished digging that much of the trench, got the water line in, and we're going to... In the next half of the video, we're going to dig up at the well. And at the well, the spigot there also needs replaced. So that's a pretty interesting one to watch too. Oh, there's the watermelon patch. They're working on getting watermelons. I was going to walk through the tomatoes, but well, I was going to walk through and then I saw those tomatoes. Sure. Got a knock on them. There's a nice cantaloupe right there. Now I don't think they're right, are they? There's another watermelon. There's a watermelon. Guess all this rain has helped. There's one. That's, there's one over there. You I got a bunch of cantaloupe right there. That are right. Yeah. Right there's one. Where the hell is that? I don't raise them anymore. Uh -huh. Here. Uh, and there's bring some more. Okay. Some for Garrison. These, there's three right here. Yeah, that one's right. This one? Yeah. And the one right over there, I'm pretty sure is right. Okay. Garrison, catch. I don't need them. I don't need them. Bring it. Do you want me to get the other one too? I'll take it. I mean, if we're harvesting them, I'll get you another one. What you got going on, Dad? Okay, now here's what we're going to do. Okay. One of them. This hydrant doesn't work. So we're going to take it out. We'll have to dig over here, you know, and dig it out. Okay. Got a new one to go in there, but what we'll do is put a T in there. Okay. You see, and I got the T, and then we'll hook onto the, this onto the T. Okay, at the bottom. At the bottom, put the new one back in the top of the T. Okay. Okay, and then I got a shutoff valve, and I'm gonna put right on the valve, and then that way I can shut it off to the barn if I want to. If you got a break or something. Yeah. Okay, and, and, and is the shutoff gonna be under the ground? Or above yeah. ground. I got a four inch tile and I'm gonna make a key to go on top of the okay. um, thing. Here's the line. That's ready to go on. Okay. It's very ready. Yep. The flowers, but how are we gonna so get those in? Those naked there? ladies aren't gonna survive. Huh? Those naked ladies aren't gonna no. survive. Nothing is gonna survive right here. We hit a water line. So we're gonna check this out. Uh, I would say put it over this way as so the water can run that way since it's higher. We have dug down about 60 inches now and we hit a pipe and it filled up a little bit with water, which this is not entirely unexpected considering we were aiming for the pipe. We just didn't intend to break it. I guess it can dig, dig pretty well. Yeah. See, the problem isn't that the digger doesn't, I mean, it digs fast. It just, you always end up taking the time fixing it. Okay, what are you saying? What do you want me to do now, Dad? Well, we're going to have to hand dig that out there. And see what... if, I'm pretty sure it's right in line with this. I think so too. Right there. Yeah. I'll go get a ladder. The water's all shifted over. <laughs> well, I guess you got in a hole I, I guess Jerison's the one going down. Are you okay? I move my hip. Oh, okay. You get it out of joint. Uh, uh, Did you twist your ankle? No, I just my foot. I stepped here and the mud, like dirt what? disappeared. You should. <sighs> <sighs> It could be some of the broken pipe. What? Thank you very much. Okay. This is because we, it's because we hit the water line, which we knew we hit something, and then we uh, dug down deeper. 
and then we hit it. Okay, pour that one in. Well, I used to run. That's where I used what? to get this. What is that? Um, you want to take some more dirt out or air? Um, well, whatever it was. It this was a something probably. That must have been what the water was coming out of though. But where's the other? Where's the rest of it? Maybe we scooped it out. Maybe the hose came at an angle from the side there. Okay. So this one here goes to the well and to this. Yeah. That's what I this one here goes to the house. Okay. But why does it go deeper? Well, because it, it probably in there, I don't know. And then it comes up into the house. Is that like a safety thing or something? Well, it keeps from freezing. Well, uh, you know, that would keep it from flowing back. Like creating a trap? Maybe. Well, uh, that tank was way down there originally. Oh, it so was maybe down it's, deeper than that. Maybe it's. It okay. was way over my head. So, that's right. Is that its cock right this, there? This or? here is probably the cock. It's, it is pretty rusted right here. I don't think it'd come off. Well, it's probably grass at the bottom, though, where it connects. I don't know what to plan for. What was your original plan? Well, I didn't know what was down there, other than I thought that screwed on to something like that did. We just screw it off. Hey, Grandma. Do you want to come out and help? <laughs> we dug in the exact right position. Is there clamps on it? The hose clamps. There's two clamps. So it's like a T with two clamps on this end, and this is the top of the T or the bottom of it. Because you don't want galvanized, it won't last five years. I know. Okay. Okay, we may have to unscrew that. And, okay, put that one one way. This one. You got just two massive ones? We'll probably need it, won't we? Here, put this one down on the bottom this way. Okay. And that one that way. And then you unscrew it. It's uh, 60 inches down. Possibly. We got our hats. Is there a piece of hose on it? There's there a piece is. of brass on the tee. There, yeah, there's a piece of brass on the tee that's going towards this over here. And that's to the what? house. <clears throat> Let's take a picture of it and then you can yeah, look at I'll it. I'll go with the hardware. Get you an idea. Then you get out. And I might have a piece of hose out in the shed. I think you've got everything you need right here. I wouldn't be surprised. And I well, think you just got to have, we have to, oh, we can hook that on there, can't we? Something hey, else. Grandma found it. It's a, it's a brass elbow. Hey, we might be able to use it. I knew. We got two hose clamps here. Here, and just, okay, now. Take off most of the dirt. Yeah. Now what? What time do we have to leave? No. What time does it start? 530. 5.30. We may have calm come we're coming, but we're running a little late. Well, you can go get ready. I'll finish this up. Okay. And then I'll go get... I, I can't wash up anyway. No. Well, go swimming. Does that look right? Looks to me right. You want me to try and find another socket? I'm not quite sure how to hold the, the pipe. The pipe. Yeah. Because I push on it and it pushes down. I got it just about. Okay. If I get cleaned up, you know, I'll turn the water. Holler when you want the water. Go on. This is what we're trying to do down here. So we put in a new pump or whatever it's called. We didn't put a new pump. No. 
<laughs> Trying to get everything to stop leaking. It's just those plastic to plastic fittings always leak. Uh, I'm cutting off eight, I cut off 10 inches of that black hose because it wasn't leaking until I started putting the hose down to the right level. Then there's way too much. You do need new tools though. Well, I finished my part of this project up and you can actually see now what we did. The barn is connecting in the middle and the house is now connected on the side and the hydrant right here is also connected straight up. My dad and Jarrison went and filled this back in, put some stone actually in the bottom too, and now everything is good. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe.